offhand, I cannot think of any Jewish community or any era that has been completely free of machloket, of disputations. The issues change. But uh, God made people uh, so that they disagree, and Jewish texts encourage that disagreement. Uh, people who studied the Talmud, what they learned were disagreements. And if that's what you study, then you're not put off by the idea uh, that there are disagreements uh, in your own day. The great value in studying disagreements from the past, whether we study them as Talmudic disagreements, the House of Hillel, the House of Shammai, and so on, or whether we study the issues that are central to this course, is it allows us to understand that there's truth often on both sides, that in order to understand the issue, sometimes we have to probe more deeply what are they really fighting about. And sometimes uh, we can see how an issue was ultimately resolved. And we can take heart, perhaps, uh, fierce disputations in our own time will likewise someday be resolved and forgotten. In the heat of the moment, that often seems impossible to believe, but anyone who studies history knows uh, once there were fierce disagreements between America and England, so much so that there was a war, two wars, uh, years later, uh, uh, that seemed uh, unimaginable uh, to people. And the similarities were much more important than the differences. And that, I think, uh, also in Jewish life is a very important uh, reminder um, uh, that uh, yesterday's um, uh, disputation may be resolved uh, 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 tomorrow. And um, uh, there may be truth on both sides. And uh, in some cases, uh, uh, think of the great Maimonidean controversy, the debate over the writings of Moses Maimonides. Uh, you know, in some cases, it becomes uh, almost hard to believe in retrospect, the amount of passion uh, uh, that uh, was expended on somebody who all of us today would agree uh, was a giant of the Jewish people. And maybe that makes us better human beings today, learning from that past, learning those lessons. And uh, it tamps down uh, some. Um, uh, of the language used in a disputation, because uh, we know perhaps uh, uh, years from now people um, uh, will wonder, as we wonder about those who excoriated Maimonides, how could they have done that? And that, too, if, uh, will have, I think, very positive implications if we study the past and, in a way, uh, it, it makes us a little bit more conscious of how we should properly uh, conduct our disputations uh, in the present.